Kazakhstan is expanding cooperation with Iran and focuses on establishing partnerships with certain provinces of the Islamic Republic. The Kazakh government is set to build a cooperation with Fars province, which is one of the most promising agricultural territories in Iran. Therefore, Kazakhstan is said to enhance cooperation in this particular sector. The Kazakh companies are planning to purchase tomato paste, herbs, dairy products and gems from Iran. Meanwhile, companies from the Islamic Republic are planning to buy wheat, barley, lamb and livestock from Kazakhstan. The countries are also going to cooperate in developing tourism industry. My, um the capital of Fars province, the city of Shiraz, is one of the largest cities in the world with an ancient history and outstanding landmarks such as Pasar Gade and Persepolis. These attractions will be interesting to the Kazakh tourists. Local attractions and pleasant climate of Shiraz and its outskirts is one type of tourism, while another popular travel purpose is medical tourism. Fars province is located on the shore of the Persian Gulf. The ancient city of Shiraz is the administrative center of the province. There is a large transplant clinic in the city which conducts various interventions. The medical center is popular with both Iranian citizens and residents of other Persian Gulf countries. Kazakhstan will be interested to cooperate with Fars province in healthcare and engineering sectors, as well as the exchange of experience between professionals and students. Since ancient times, Fars province has been considered as the capital of poetry and was known for its handicraft works. Iran and Kazakhstan can also cooperate in the mineral resource sector. Transportation is another promising cooperation area for the two countries. Kazakhstan can import its products into the Persian Gulf region by means of railroads which connect the northern and southern regions of Iran. The Kazakh delegation is expected to visit Fars province in June. The delegates will identify new priority cooperation sectors as a result of the trip. Kazakhstan is becoming increasingly popular among foreign investors. Today, foreigners do not miss the opportunity to invest and start a business in the country. The central business event of Eurasia, the Astana Economic Forum, is an important event for businessmen in Central Europe. Experts say that the AEF enhances the country's image as well as makes the country more attractive to investors. Businesses are gathering at the prestigious annual event to discuss global challenges and to establish new business contacts. Our agency takes part in the AEF every year. This is a great opportunity for us to meet with investment funds as well as new trading partners from different countries. I think that Kazakhstan is the future of Central Asia and also an excellent venue for such forums. We are interested by, by Kazakhstan and by the um, IFC, uh, Astana International Financial Center. Our business is digital, based on blockchain. We are based in Switzerland and we are active in the blockchain domain and especially in digital currencies. We think Kazakhstan is, uh, has a great future. Everything, I think uh, Kazakhstan could be the Switzerland of Asia, of Central Asia, very soon. The geographical situation of the country between China, Russia, Central Asia is paramount for us. That's why we want to base part of activity here in Kazakhstan. Kazakh government created favorable environment for foreign entrepreneurs. According to the participants of the Kazakhstan Global Investment Roundtable, guaranteed safety of investments as well as stability of legislature, economy and politics is among attractive tools for foreign investments. The meeting was attended by more than 1,000 experts and business people from 40 countries. The entrepreneurs believe that the promising sectors in Kazakhstan include food industry, agriculture, logistics, transport, information technologies and construction. The business owners are set to invest in these sectors. Investment has been and continues to be a fundamental factor in the growth and development of our economy. More than 300 billion have been invested in our economy in the, in the years of independence. In 2018 alone, more than two, uh, 24 billion foreign direct capital was invested in Kazakhstan economy, which is more, 90, uh, more than 90 percent of the region, uh, total FDI in the Central Asia countries. 
Investment in fixed capital demonstrated in uh, highly positive dynamics. The Astana International Financial Center developed on the basis of the best practices by leading international financial institutions in New York, London, Shanghai, will play the foremost role in attracting a new wave of FDI. Central Asia's largest investment project worth more than 1 billion US dollars will be implemented in Turkestan region. A greenhouse farm on a total area of about 500 hectares are planned to be constructed in the region. The project is invested by a Russian company. We are grateful to the Kazakh government for the comprehensive support in implementation of these investment projects. We are assisted with infrastructural developments, which helps reduce our investment costs and make our projects more attractive with faster return of investment. Forty-five documents worth nine billion U.S. dollars were signed at the annual global investment meeting. The majority of agreements were reached with companies from Turkey, Germany, USA, Singapore, the UAE, South Korea, and neighboring countries. Kazakhstan is enhancing its export potential. At the moment, Kazakh companies export more than 800 types of goods to 120 countries. The large market of China is a promising sales destination, which is interested to import food products and industrial goods from Kazakhstan. Chinese companies are particularly eager to purchase machine building and mining products. Chinese consumers are well familiar with the output of the Kentau transformer and batteries manufacturing plant. The two countries are implementing 55 joint Kazakh-Chinese projects. Hydraulic systems, gears and valves manufactured at our Kirov machine building plant are oriented at the Chinese market. Kazakh textile industry enterprises are also assessing the Chinese market with their output. We often attend fairs in China. At an exhibition in Shanghai, there was a huge line in our pavilion, and everybody wanted to try Saumal. China is interested in our products. We are set to expand the export boundaries after the delivery of the first consignment of goods. Agriculturists in Almaty region are also set to enter new markets. The farmers are planning to export raspberry and blackberries in three years. The agrarians are currently planting seedlings on an area of 500 hectares. The plants were produced in Europe and adapted to the local climate. According to specialists, the average yield will total between 12 and 17 tons per hectare. We are planning to increase production and enter foreign markets. We will deliver 1 million tons of berries to foreign countries. We will also build a factory to produce packaging for our output. Members of the British Kazakh Society discuss Central Asia's transport and transit potential at a meeting in London. At the moment, Kazakhstan and the United Kingdom are developing cooperation in sectors including oil and gas, mining industry, financial sector and education. The United Kingdom remains one of Kazakhstan's top 10 trading partners and is one of the top six largest investors. Over the past 13 years, the amount of direct British investments in the Republic exceeded 13 billion US dollars. I think Kazakhstan is an incredibly exciting market. Uh, it's plainly progressing very, very quickly. There are lots of opportunities for British businesses. I'd like to think there are opportunities for uh, the Kazakh uh, government and indeed other institutions to invest in the UK as well. There are lots of opportunities here I think would be attractive. But on the whole, um, we're very positive towards uh, Kazakhstan and trade with Kazakhstan. The meeting participants also discussed the aspects of trade potential in the Central Asian region. Members of the British Kazakh Society include officials representing the British government, diplomats of the two countries, as well as business people. Experts believe that the comprehensive partnership will benefit all stakeholders. China and Kazakhstan are very, very important part of this project of the road and belt, I think it's called. In Italy, we call it Silk Road. Uh, and that the fact that I'm Italian and I'm proud of it, that uh, Italy 
is the first country to strike a deal, a bilateral deal with China on this project, I believe that this is the future of trade in the world, starting from Central Asia and having ramifications in all the world. In the near future, members of the British Kazakh Society are planning to identify new cooperation areas which emerge following the signing of the treaty on the legal status of the Caspian Sea. The second talented youth festival was held in Kyrgyzstan. Young contestants from Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and Kazakhstan took part in the event this year. Nazakat Mudinova arrived in Batkyen from Uzbekistan for the second time and made many friends at the festival. I arrived from Uzbekistan's Fergana region. This time there are participants from other countries as well. At this festival, I became friends with the Kazakh participants. We are from Almaty. There are nine of us and we represent a vocal studio. I supervise Kafsar Duet. We are going to demonstrate our skills and make friends at the festival. The event was organized by Batkien City Mayor's Office and was supported by an international organization. According to special the festival was held to enhance friendship between the young people. The festival is aimed to boost friendship and good neighborliness among the young people. Everybody is in a good mood, which is important. Kostanai hosted the 6th Kazakh-Russian Youth Forum. The main discussion topic was the volunteer movement. More than 1,000 activists from almost all regions of the country arrived to share their experience in the workshop. Among them are young people from Western Kazakhstan. Now there are 50,000 young people in Western Kazakhstan. Around 20,000 to 25,000 of these young people are involved in one way or another in the volunteer movement in the West Kazakhstan region. The forum is regarded as an international forum. Activists from Russia's border regions also arrived in Kostanai, including medical volunteers, eco-volunteers, corporate volunteers, as well as ordinary volunteers. A very powerful delegation arrived, which, on the one hand, has accumulated vast experience of its activities. On the other hand, I would very much like to see the format of work that is practiced in Kazakhstan. I know that there are excellent practices in Kazakhstan, including startups that are presented here. There are 222 volunteer organizations operating in Kazakhstan. The volunteer movement is one of the most common and convenient work methods because volunteer services, just like the charity activities, help revive and strengthen patriotism among the young people. That is what we can see in the forum participants. Several cooperation memorandums have been signed at the forum. Leading Turkologists from 10 countries gathered in Paris for the Great Step Cultural Heritage and Role in World History Forum. The event was organized by the International Turkic Academy and UNESCO. Kazakh delegation introduced the forum participants to the article of the first president, the seven facets of the Great Step, and spoke about the ancestral history and cultural heritage. Turkologists recognized the importance of discoveries of nomads for the humanity as a whole. We are learning more about the role of the Great Step in development of mankind as well as about the contribution to development of science. It is actually amazing and fascinating. We all have a great desire to dive into this story and to learn more. Domestication of horse, the ancient mythology and the early statehood. It is impossible to list all the contributions the Great Step gave to the world. Scientists call it a crossroads of cultures since nomads acted as propagators of progress. Thanks to the efforts of Turkologists with the support of UNESCO, the humanity is discovering new insights into its history. We are happy that the forum is being organized here at UNESCO. The Great Step is an important part of our civilization and a huge cultural space, which we must be aware of. We are especially pleased to talk about it both to residents of our region and to the world as a whole. UNESCO has always paid special attention to the Great Step when implementing its projects. The organization of this forum is a great honor for us. Scientists say that in the 21st century, history of the Turkic world is acquiring a special relevance. Therefore, it is necessary to expand the areas of interaction between the states and to exchange experience and conduct large-scale research. 
We think that this will strengthen our cooperation with UNESCO. In the future, we expect to have a systematic basis for scientific ties. UNESCO is one of the most influential organizations for protection of the heritage of mankind. It draws attention to our region. I think it will help us to popularize the Turkic culture in the future. As part of the forum, remarkable Turkologists were awarded with a special gold medal of the International Turkic Academy for their work and contribution to Turkology and strengthening cooperation and cultural ties between nations. The scientists suggested marking the key dates of the Turkic history at the international level, including the celebration of the upcoming 1,500th anniversary of the Orkhon Yenisei writing. Unique historical artifacts of the Karakhanid era were discovered in Taras. The valuable items date back to 10th to 12th centuries. They were found near the Kone Taras Historical and Cultural Center. The finds include an almost intact jug with plaster flora ornament and the lower part of the vessel has an Arabic inscription. There were also numerous fragments of hum and a detail of a bronze product with a delicate ornament. The artifacts were sent to a museum where specialists are studying them. Archaeologists are confident that the artifacts will will bring new insights into history, including the life of inhabitants of Taras in the Middle Ages. The uniqueness of this find is that the artifacts are still intact. These treasures of history show that this was the era of development and prosperity in Taras city. If you pay attention to the manufacturing techniques, the colouring and application of ornaments, you can see the professional performance of these works by a master of applied art. It is truly very impressive. These artifacts have been lying there for centuries and many millennia. Thus, they need further research. Perhaps further excavations will help find the remaining details. After certification and relevant procedures, as well as restoration, the artifacts will be showcased in the exposition of the Kunetaras Archaeological Park. Yerjan Maxim will give a big solo concert for the first time. Today, the most famous Kazakh school child admits that he could only dream of it. Now, the 12-year-old singer will have long hours of rehearsals in order to create his own repertoire. The Kabar agency will support the young, talented singer. The agency has become a general information partner of the upcoming concert. With the Khabar channel, let us announce that on June 28th at 7 p.m., we invite you to the first solo concert of Yerjan Maxim in the Central Concert Hall. In addition to new compositions, the audience will listen to the famous Blue Eternity by Muslim Magomayev. Yerjan will also sing Adagio by Lara Fabian, which was his final performance in the Russian show. The symphony orchestra will accompany the rising star at the concert in Nur Sultan. The organizers also promised duets and trios with Kazakh pop stars. <laughs> Of course, we are very worried. We are overwhelmed with emotions. When he was seven years old, he had a charity performance in Uralsk. This is another level. This is Yerjan's first big concert. Moreover, a documentary film will be presented for fans of Yerjan. Shooting of the film has already begun. The film will be shown in Kazakh, Russian and English languages. We are filming a documentary about the life of Yerjan. Our film crew has filmed a lot of unique shots in Uralsk, and we also have our own correspondent in Moscow. During the concert and later, we will show interesting materials on screens of our channel. Yerjan admits that participation in international competitions creates prerequisites for further creative growth and significantly expands his network. After the vocal show in Russia, famous composer and producer Igor Krutoy invited Yerjan to study at the Music Academy.